Hi, everybody. My name is Karla Onderko, and I would like to take you into the world of reborn dolls today. It start, the start was rough um, because between 2008 and 2011, I lost seven members of my family. So as you can imagine, I was in really bad shape back then. And I became interested in loss and trauma related topics. I wanted to find out how other people are dealing with loss. And when I saw a BBC documentary, My Fake Baby in 2012, when I saw the reborn doll, I immediately knew that it's an incredibly powerful therapy tool. And that's how my story began. Uh, it began with Basha. As you can see, Basha is a, a reborn artist, but she began also uh, as a reborn collector. She had a doll because she suffered from anxiety and bulimia, and the, the doll helped her to cope with this. And here is Magda, Magda's room, her doll, uh, Lorcia. She, Magda couldn't ha get pregnant for seven years. And the doll helped her to cope with the idea that she might never get pregnant again. So, so she became this fake mom to a doll. Uh, but luckily, around two months after I visited her and took those pictures, she got pregnant. And she gave birth to a healthy baby boy, so the doll ended up in the closet. So it's no longer needed. It served its purpose. And here's the uh, dolls collectors enthusiasm gathering. They gather every year. They spend time together. They exchange clothes. Uh, talk about being um, a reborn mom, and it's quite interesting um, to be there with them. And here's Kasia. Kasia is a mother of four, uh, but she miscarried one child. And after she came back from the hospital, she told me that she had this physical pain in her arms, that she was supposed to leave the hospital with something in her arms, not with empty hands. So she, um, she was looking for solutions for this pain on the internet and found out the reborn dolls. And one of them became part of the family, and I've spent summer vacations with them. Uh, the doll was always with us. The, the kids were looking after it. They were very gentle with it. Uh, of course, they knew it's a doll. And I have to assure you that the real children always come first when it comes to this family. Kasia usually spend time with the doll, change her clothes and oil her hair uh, at midnight where all the kids are asleep. It's, as she told me, it's her time to calm down and, you know, remember the, um, the child that wasn't born. This... They are very realistic, as you can see. They wait as a baby. They smell like a baby. Uh, if you really don't touch... Uh, you can't tell it's a fake. So uh, many people mistake the dolls when they are in the push chairs and they come by and they say, oh, well, how old is he? How old is she? And, you know, they start asking questions. And if they don't touch, they go and they think they just saw a real baby. And here is Eva. Eva has two reborn dolls. She's really afraid of the outside world, so the dolls keep her company. And it's documented that holding a baby <clears throat> calms you down, calms your nerves. So a lot of women uh, use those dolls for calming down, for you know, have this endorphin uh, rush into your brain uh, because it has this unique you know, uh, feeling when you hold this doll that you are holding a baby. You can't just throw it away. You, you, you want to protect it. And the moment you have the doll in your arms, you feel uh, you, you want to protect it. It's incredible. And it really calms you down. The smell, the weight. Mm, here is a... Uh, here is a um, nursery. Uh, Basha is having a... Uh, um, a fake hospital where she repairs the dolls. 
Um, Eva, Eva had a really traumatic experience because she gave birth to a baby boy and he only survived for 18 days. Uh, so she she came back from the hospital devastated because she found out she will never uh, get pregnant again. And she sent Basha the picture of her late boy and Basha created a doll that looked exactly the same. And it was very emotional for me to take her pictures because when I took that picture, she was singing a lullaby to this little one. Uh, but thankfully, um, a month ago, she wrote to me that she sold the doll and she's ready to uh, adopt a child with her husband. So the doll served her for a year and now she's ready to move on. And there are many stories like that, that the dolls were only for just a, just a year or a couple of years. Uh, the moment they were ready, they give it away. Or other women are having it still because it calms her down and helps her to deal with anxiety. Um, it just and also keeps them company. So when you order a doll, uh, you get birth certificates uh, and all the things that goes, uh, bottles and pampers and box opening is incredible experience. Thank you for being with me. Take care. <laughs>